We all have our favorite actors and actresses, and we love to watch them as they get older and play different roles. But you might be surprised to learn there are some working actors in their 90s and even 100s. Join Facts First as we take a look at the oldest living actors in the world. Joyce Randolph, 98 Born on October 21, 1924, the ever-lovely Joyce Randolph will forever be remembered by fans of the golden age of television for her portrayal of Trixie Norton in the classic TV sitcom The Honeymooners. Randolph was specifically chosen by Jackie Gleason for the show and appeared in all 39 episodes. As of 2023, she's the last living cast member of the show. In addition, she's also acted in some other TV shows like Hi Honey, I'm Home, The Doctors and the Nurses, and Everything's Jake. For her work, she's received many awards and accolades, including the coveted Jackie Gleason Award. Eva Marie Saint, 98 This American actress was born July 4, 1924, in Newark, New Jersey. Saint started out her career in radio and television in the late 40s and early 50s, earning two Emmy Award nominations for her early work. She made her film debut in 1954's On the Waterfront, directed by the legendary Elia Kazan, and starring the late Marlon Brando. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for the role. She also starred in Alfred Hitchcock's 1959 thriller North by Northwest, opposite Cary Grant and James Mason, which is considered one of the greatest films of all time. She's appeared in many other films like Exodus, The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, Nothing in Common, Superman Returns, and Winter's Tale. Priscilla Pointer, 98 Priscilla Pointer was born May 18, 1924 in New York City. She started her career in theater and on Broadway, co-founding the San Francisco Actors Workshop with her first husband, director Jules Irving. She also appeared in several TV shows and films, often playing motherly roles. She played the mother of her daughter Amy Irving in 1976's Carrie, as well as Diane Keaton in 1977's Looking for Mr. Goodbar, Sean Penn's mom in The Falcon and the Snowman, and Kyle MacLachlan's mom in Blue Velvet. She also had recurring roles on TV series like Dallas, L.A. Law, and E.R. After Jules Irving's death in 1979, she married actor Robert Simons, with whom she performed on stage until his death in 2007. Pointer retired from acting in 2014. Vincent Ball, 99 Vincent Ball is an Australian retired character actor who has appeared in many radio, stage, and screen productions, mostly in Britain and Australia. He was born December 4, 1923 in Weewa, New South Wales. He served as a wireless air gunner with the Royal Australian Air Force during the Second World War. After the war, he pursued his dream of becoming an actor and won a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He made his film debut as a stand-in for Donald Houston in 1949's The Blue Lagoon. Some of his notable films include A Town Like Alice, Robbery Under Arms, Sea of Sand, Far Lap, and Muriel's Wedding. He also appeared in many TV shows like Rush, The Young Doctors, and A Country Practice. Glennis Johns, 99 Glennis Johns is a British former actress, dancer, musician, and singer born on October 5, 1923 in Pretoria, South Africa. She's the daughter of actor Mervyn Johns and the cousin of actor John Jeffrey Jones. She began her esteemed career as a child performer on stage and made her big screen debut in 1938 with South Riding. Johns became famous for her roles in films such as Miranda, The Court Jester, Mary Poppins, and While You Were Sleeping. She also starred in Broadway musicals such as A Little Night Music, for which she won a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical in 1973. She's famed for her distinctive husky voice and her songs such as Sister Suffragette and Send in the Clowns. She retired from acting in 1999. Janice Page, 100 Janice Page is a retired actress and singer born September 16, 1922, in Tacoma, Washington. She started her prolific decade-spanning career as a singer at the Hollywood Canteen during World War II, where she was spotted by a Warner Brothers talent scout. She signed a contract with the studio and appeared in several musicals and comedies, often co-starring with Dennis Morgan or Jack Carson. She left Hollywood in 1951 to pursue theater work and became a Broadway star with her role as Babe in 1954's The Pajama Game. 
She had success as a cabaret singer and TV performer, appearing in shows such as It's Always Jan, Lanigan's Rabbi, and Trapper John M.D. She's noteworthy for being one of the last surviving stars of Hollywood's golden age. Micheline Pressel, 100. Micheline Pressel is a French actress born August 22, 1922, in Paris. She started her film career at age 15 and won an award as the most promising young female actor in French cinema in 1938. Throughout her career, she starred in over 50 French and English language films that were made in Hollywood and in France, such as Devil in the Flesh, American Gorilla in the Philippines, If a Man Answers, and Les Miserables. She was married twice, first to Michel Lefort and then to William Marshall, with whom she had a daughter, Toni Marshall. She became an actress and a director. She also appeared on stage and controversially yet courageously signed the Manifesto of the 343, publicly declaring she had an illegal abortion. Margia Dean, 100. Margia Dean is an American former beauty queen and actress, born April 7, 1922, in Chicago, Illinois. She started acting as a child on stage and won several pageants, including Miss San Francisco and Miss California. She also competed in Miss America 1939, placing fifth. Dean made her film debut in 1944's Casanova in Burlesque and went on to appear in over 50 films, most of which were B-movies for studios like Republic Pictures, Columbia Pictures, and Lippert Pictures. Some of her notable films include 1955's The Quartermass Experiment, Villa, and 1964's Moro Witch Doctor, her last film. She also worked as a producer for The Long Rope, as well as some TV pilots. She retired from showbiz after marrying her second husband, Philippe Alvarez, in 1965. Iris Apfel, 101 Iris Apfel is an American businesswoman, actress, interior designer, and fashion icon born in 1921 in Queens, New York. She studied art history at New York University, then attended art school at University of Wisconsin. She and her husband, Carl Apfel, founded a textile company called Old World Weavers in 1950 and worked on design restoration projects for the White House for nine presidents. She also became known for her eclectic and colorful personal style, mixing high-end and low-end fashion items with accessories from around the world. Apfel has been featured in several films, exhibitions, documentaries, and books celebrating her unique aesthetic. She's also a model and signed with IMG in 2019 at age 97. Jack Rader Jack Rader is an American actor born February 23, 1921 in Los Angeles. While modern audiences might not be familiar with him, Rader is noteworthy for being the oldest living actor as of 2023. He's appeared in over 80 films and TV shows since 1950, mostly in supporting roles as authority figures or villains. Some of his notable films, The Blob, Outbreak, Braddock, Missing in Action. He's also guest starred on popular TV shows like The X-Files, Chicago Hope, and Seventh Heaven. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised that any of these stars were still alive? Let us know in the comments section below.